In this spreadsheet, we have some data about the largest automakers in the world. So here are some of their sales and growth record. So what we have here are Toyota, Volkswagen, Hyundai, GM, Ford, Honda, Daimler. So this is from Mercedes-Benz and the BMW. And uh, we have their five-year percentage growth in terms of the number of cars they sold. And then we also have their market size, again, in terms of the number of cars they have sold. And uh, finally, in column D, we have the market cap in billion dollars. So market cap is how much each one of these automakers is valued by the market. So for example, Toyota is $241 billion. So we want to produce a chart for these three variables. In order to look at the relationship of three variables, the chart we use is a bubble chart. Now let's start by selecting this data and insert. Now let's click on the lower right corner. This would give us all the possible charts. And uh, obviously the recommended chart has nothing we want. And then go to charts. And within the XY scatter, here you're gonna see the choices, the bubble charts. So click on the bubble, the second choice of the bubble chart, and then click OK. Let's enlarge this. So again, to increase the readability, we use Quick Layout to change the layout of this chart. And then we also want this to be labeled. So it will be X and Y in the labels. So the X axis is the five-year growth. The y-axis is the market size. And the size of the bubble is the market cap. So we're going to name this Automakers Market Cap versus Market Size and Growth. Let's change the layout a little. And as we see here, the label is not what we want. So we'll right click on top of the chart and format data labels. And in this case, since we already have various representations, we really want to label these bubbles using the automaker's names. So we're going to uncheck the X value, uncheck the Y value. And then we're going to check the value from sales. And then it's going to give us a pop-up menu asking us to select the data label range. I'm going to select the automaker names and click OK. And we change the label position to center. So it's going to be in the center of the bubbles. So now we see here we have a bubble chart of all these automakers. I'll delete the legend since it's misleading. So on this chart, the further right these companies go, it indicates the faster the company has been growing. So Honda is the one with the highest growth, and GM is the lowest. It actually was shrinking during this period of time. And the higher you go on the vertical axis, it represents the larger market size. So based on the things you have learned from your finance course, as you can imagine, if a company is big and it grows fast, then the company should be worth a lot more in the stock market. So the market cap should be bigger. So when a company is more on the upper right corner on this coordinate system, we should expect the bubble to be bigger. But overall, no company is both large and fast growth. If you are interested in the valuation of these companies, one of the key factors driving Toyota to be so highly valued is their operating margin. So this bubble chart illustrates these automakers' percentage growth, market size, and their market cap. That concludes this video.